Telecom Kenya was privatized five years ago in a deal that saw France Orange become a shareholder. Successive shareholder cash calls by the company due to loss making have seen the government's shareholding reduced from the initial 49% to the current 40%. This is expected to further reduce to 30% if the government does not pump in 2.4 billion shillings soon. Telecom Kenya says it will break even in two years, then start making profits in the year 2016, driven by investments made over the last five years. From 2009 to 2013, the company today is improved too much and start to have the power to compete and to take more market share and to fight and to, to come to the profit. Until then, it means you as a taxpayer will continue partly funding its operations, lest the government shareholding reduces, starting with this year's cash appeal of 6 billion shillings. Even more sad is that the company will not reduce its call rates, even if the cost of calling other networks commonly referred to as MTR is reduced from the current 1 shilling and 44 cents to a shilling and 5 cents. Meaning even the MTR will go down, the price is still uh, 3 shilling. The company called for more use of the fiber optic cable, saying this will help reduce the cost of telecommunication services. It is $23 per, kil per dark fiber. While in South Africa, the one kilometer of dark fiber is $250. Reporting for News Our Business, I'm Stanley Wabomba.